Hey there everyone, Kurt Singh here with a Great League Battle video. I'm running an all bug team with Gavantula in the lead with Volt Switch, Discharge, and Lunge. Then I've got Glissopod as my safe switch, Shadow Claw, Liquidation, X Scissor. And then as the closer, I'm running Scissor. And it's a shadow with Bullet Punch, Iron Head, and Night Slash. And this thing does really good against fairies. Let's get into the video. All right, right into the first battle here. Gavantula on the lead against Charizard. That's a dream lead, you wanna see that. Although the Charizard could be running a fire fast move, it would do super effective. The wing attack is not too, too, too bad. I let this first Dragon Claw go, and then they switch into a Swampert. So I'm gonna throw the first lunge. I'm at two lunges, so I want to debuff, and then I'm going to try to catch a Hydro Cannon onto my Glissopod. So there I catch the Hydro Cannon onto the Glissopod. This is resisted, plus I debuff their attack. So now with the Glissopod here, I'm going to Shadow Claw, and I'm at an X Scissor. Again, they are debuffed, and even an Earthquake isn't going to hurt. So I just let this move go through. And then I think that I want to just farm right down. So I am able to farm down and leave with a lot of energy. I've got two liquidations. So now I'm able to threaten whatever comes in and they did bring the Charizard back in. So I get the first shield, do a couple more Shadow Claws, throw another liquidation. And this will either take out the Charizard or get the last shield. So it gets the last shield. And now I'm gonna bring back in Galantula and do one Volt Switch, and I'll shield this, and then I should be able to do another Volt Switch, and that will take out the Charizard. And then I'll be able to leave with some energy on my Glavantula as well. And they have a Registeel in the back. So this is nice that it's their last, because they can't switch out, so I can debuff it here. And use the Lunge, drop their attack, and I should be able to get to another Lunge. So I'll be able to have debuffed them twice, and then I'll bring in my scissor. So scissor here, it's gonna have to shield up this focus blast. Would do a lot of damage. I think it is slightly resisted with it the, with the bug typing, but uh, the seal typing and it being shadow, it would do a lot as I believe you guys will see in this particular battle here. So iron head lands and I'm aware that it's not like super effective or anything, but it is the harder hitting move out of the two. And it does neutral damage to the steel. So there you can see I do live a focus blast, but just barely. So into the next match, Gavantula into a Shadow Machamp. So they switch right away into an Alolan Ninetales. So I answer with the Shadow Scissor. And the bullet punches are just ripping through that uh, nine tails. I opt to let the first weather ball go, and I thought that I'd be able to farm down before they got to another one, but they do get to another one. But I decide to let that go as well because I know that they have a Machamp in the back, and I don't want to give them a lot of farm. So I go for the Iron Head as Night Slash is resisted against fighting, and the Iron Head does get a shield and then I'm taken out. So at least I didn't give them a ton of farm. So Galvantula can come back in and I reach the lunge before they're able to throw. I'm still gonna wanna respect uh, Rock Slide as that would do a lot of damage, but they do switch out again into a Frost Loss. So I go for the Discharge here instead of trying to debuff their attack. And that does a little bit better than half health. So then I bring in the Glissopod and I want a Shadow Claw down here. So I'm going to commit the first shield. It is the Shadow Ball. And then I am able to farm down. I mean, looking in a pretty good spot here. They don't have any shields. I still have a shield and I've got a lot of health on my Glissopod here. And the Liquidation actually takes them out from that range. So good game to my opponent. Well played. Uh, with this team, I do believe that I've got a 3-2, maybe a 4-1, but 
But the battles that I'm showing you guys are just a kind of a collection of a few. I wanted to make a fun, fun video with all the same typing and I figured bug would be fun. Um, with all the dark and psychic running around and stuff like that, I figured, well, let's give it a try. The, f the first team that I made got destroyed by, I faced like a flyer pretty much every match. So I switched it up to having uh, much better answers for flyers. And did decent actually, it was a lot of fun to play this team. So there I throw a lunge at the muck, I get their first shield, and then I switch out into the scissor. And the thing here with that is that it's poison, poison is re resisted by the steel, and electric is also resisted by steel. And then, so I didn't shield that one thing, it was probably going to be just a thunder punch, or they'd bait me with an acid spray. But it was the Dark Pulse, so it did a lot of damage. And then I, thunder, I shield the Thunder Punch. But I've got a lot of energy here, and I think, so I throw this Night Slash, does a good chunk, and then that Waterfall had taken me out. There I lag, I think I lagged, because I didn't even get a Volt Switch through. But maybe, it, maybe their, time, their move timing went through first. But here I'm, not quite able to farm down, which is unfortunate. And they outrage me, and that takes me out. And that was a good game by my opponent. So that was one of the ones that I ended up losing in that uh, this first set when I played with this team. It was it was close. So Fairy on the lead, and then Stunfisk in the back, and. I don't really have like a super solid answer to Stunfisk because Glissopod is my better answer, but they can still hit me for super effective with the rock slides. So I do shield up the first one here. And then I'm gonna make it two, almost two liquidations before I throw. This is going to do super effective damage if they let it go. They do let it go. And they're going to throw a rock slide here. I think that I let this one go. Let this rock slide go through. Shadow clawing away. Couldn't quite shadow claw down, so I do commit the shield because I've got a lot of energy. And it's just a muddy water, so I probably would have lived that, I think. I actually haven't faced a muddy water stun fisk in forever. So, go for an X-Scissor here, and that almost one-shots their Ninja that they just brought in. Go for another X-Scissor here. This will either take it out or get their last shield. Or first shield, sorry. So I get the first shield, and then Shadow Claw down. They bring back in the Wigglytuff, and one charm takes me out. So now I'm in a good spot because they're down to their last Pokemon, and the Bullet Punchers are just tearing through, and I do still have a shield to um, shield whatever they might throw. It's a good game they give up there. Metacham on the lead into my Galvantula. This is actually decent for me because I can get to a lunge fairly quickly here, shield up the first Ice Punch or Psychic if I decide to, but I do let this go and it's just, just a power up punch. So now I farm up a little bit before I throw my lunge. That's one thing that I've been working on, is um, I like to throw as soon as I get the move, or I like, you know, you can kinda, you're kind of panicking, oh, they threw, I better throw as soon as I get mine. I'm starting to, with counting, uh, okay, they threw, okay, I'm gonna do another Volt Switch or two, because then I get more energy, and then I'll throw before, like, instead of just throwing right away. And then if they switch out or stuff like that, then you have more saved energy. It's helping, um, like learning the, the counts and the conserving energy and stuff like that. It's definitely helping. So in the back, I've got an Altaria. So I'm going to throw the Discharge. Wasn't sure about this because I know that the Discharge is going to be more effective, but the Lunge would have debuffed their attack. And as you guys will see here, that Dragon Breath just shreds through things. So it makes it very difficult. I was trying to decide what to go in with. And I know Steel res resists the Dragon Breaths, so that's why I went with the th with the Scissor. Go for the Night Slash here. 
I don't know if I actually got a boost. Any of the times, any of the battles with Scissor, any of the Night Sashes that I went for. So they switch in with an Azumarill, which is, I thought, a little bit strange because it is a fairy typing and I'm using a metal typing or a steel. I let that Ice Beam go through. Fire off an Iron Head of my own and they let that go. So then I bring Glissopod. Oh, Glissopod is my last Pokemon. So I'm going to commit to the Shadow Claw down here. I want to leave with as much energy as I can. I'm going to let the Ice Beam go. Glissopod actually has a nice, nice uh, typing set that resists a fair amount of what's very, very common, right? It resists a lot of the ice, resists the water, resists ground. So I get to the X Scissor here. Throw that. I did, or got another, or took their shield already, and then I'm able to Shadow Claw down. It's a good game there. Right into the next match. Swampert lead. Works out well. Um, I like how Lunge will do almost 50% of the Swampert's health. Got a little bit scared there and switched. Not sure why they answered with a Brave Bird or with a Talonflame. Not necessarily, oh, I, I know why. Because they don't want Galvantula to see the, the Talonflame. So here I decided to call it. I'm like, I don't think they're going to switch in and go for a Brave Bird right away. So I let the Flame Charge go through. That does a huge chunk still due to the bug typing. But I am able to reach a second liquidation. So I get both their shields and I'm still up on shields. So one volt switch and I'm able to get to the discharge before their incinerate goes through. So that takes out the talent flame. Swamper comes back in. I am gonna have to shield up this Hydro Cannon and I'm probably gonna have to shield two. They're at the back to backs. So I do get a bolt switch through there, which is very nice for me. So I shield up this Hydro Cannon and then I throw the lunge and I do have both shields, so this will almost take them out. And then I quickly do one more bolt switch, two more bolt switches, and then I switch into my scissor to catch the Hydro Cannon. And I knew that it was going to do a lot, but my thinking was they're stay still staying in. They must be somewhat weak to uh, go eventual on the back. So I do try to get to the iron head there. Wasn't quite able to, and then I'm able to come in, throw a bolt switch, get to the lunge, and this will do super effective against their Lorantis. And that takes out the Lorantis. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.